case I misquoted, I thought I better prepare some brief remarks and then I'll be happy to answer your questions. So let me read my brief remarks. I'm humbled by this appointment and thank Almighty God for his blessing. I'm most grateful to the Prime Minister Dr. Mahathir for the trust and confidence reposed in Mawa. The Office of the Attorney General of any nation at any point of time is entrusted with very serious responsibilities. In Malaysia, after 60 years of one-party rule, with the result that the law is in a parlous state, the Attorney General's responsibilities are doubly onerous. Hence, there is much reform to be carried out and we need the assistance of all stakeholders to improve and strengthen the legal structure and system. I shall always promote genuine constitutionalism, separation of powers, rule of law and due process, values which the newly elected government supports. My task is to assist the reforming government, just elected on a popular mandate, to implement a reform program of the administration of justice. The government's first and immediate priority is all matters pertaining to 1MDB. I have therefore to study the papers in that scandal. We shall institute criminal and civil proceedings in our courts against the alleged wrongdoers. All are equal before the law and no one will be spared. There will be no cover-up. Simultaneously, we will immediately contact our counterparts in the United States, Switzerland, Luxembourg, Singapore and other jurisdictions to extend our full cooperation and assistance to them in all matters relating to 1MDB with the objective of having returned to Malaysia the billions stolen from taxpayers. The second immediate priority is to repeal oppressive laws. The Prime Minister has already announced the end of GST and the anti fake news. But the list of such laws is pretty long and Chambers has to take steps to repeal them either in whole or in part or on an urgent basis. Thirdly, we have to independently study the international obligations undertaken by the previous administration such as contracts with other countries to ascertain if they are lopsided against the interests of Malaysia. Selective prosecution will immediately cease. Those who commit no wrong have nothing to fear. Malaysia is a free country. We should not fear the midnight knock of the policeman. But those who flout the law will be met with the full force of the law regardless of their station in life. On my part, I promise to do the right thing, that is to tell the truth and to do justice. Justice must not only be done, but it must be seen to be done. As guardian of the public interest, I shall take into account the interests and concerns of the public generally and not be confined to the interests of the executive. Conflicts of interest must cease. Integrity shall be a priority. I shall discharge my duties honestly, fairly, freely, independently, and to the best of my ability. Thank you. Are there any individual